we want to solve this uh, question right in so we want to find out the values of n that of course they're actually going to satisfy this uh, interesting equation right in and of course at the end of the day we should be able to get up to six values of n which will satisfy this problem so you want to stick around even as we proceed in the solving okay so what i'm going to do is actually to write this n power 6 as n power 3 raised to power 2 is equal to i will also do same here so this is 2 power 3 and of course raised to power 2 i haven't changed the equation because when you use this 2 to multiply this 3 right here you're going to be having 6 and of course this is exactly what i did over here so i'm actually going to subtract this item from both sides so if i do that what i'm going to be having is n power 3 all raised to power 2 minus 2 power 3 all raised to power 2 is equal to 0 and then at this point you can see we've got some difference of two squares and if you can remember the expansion a power 2 minus b power 2 you can actually expand these as a plus b and then multiply by a minus b so this is the expansion i'm gonna actually use to expand this stuff right here so and in this case our a is equal to n power 3 and then our b is equal to 2 power 3. so expanding that is actually going to change to n power 3 plus 2 power 3 okay and then multiply by n power 3 minus 2 power 3 and of course this will be equal to zero for this equation to hold for the product of these two terms to be equal to zero is either one n power three plus two power three is equal to zero or we look at the second case that is case two where this one becomes true and n power 3 minus 2 power 3 is equal to 0. So this is actually going to be the case that will satisfy for the product. Is that this is equal to 0 or this term is equal to 0. That's actually when the product is actually going to be equal to 0. Okay, so we're going to be solving these two cases. So let us solve this case 1 right here so to solve this you need to remember this expansion a power 3 plus b power 3 you can actually expand this as a plus b and then of course multiply by a squared minus a b plus b squared okay so and of course in this case you can see that our a is equal to n and then our b is equal to 2. so if i use this to simplify this what i'm going to be having is n plus 2 and then multiply by n squared minus 2n and then plus 2 squared which is equal to 4 okay so this is will be equal to 0 so applying the zero product rule again we can see that n plus 2 has to be equal to 0 or this term n squared minus 2n plus 4 has to be equal to 0. So if this becomes the case, we can see clearly here that n will be equal to negative 2. So this will be the first value of n that will satisfy the problem we are solving. But if this becomes true, what we just need to do is apply the uh, quadratic formula to solve this where n will be equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of p squared minus 4ac and all divided by 2a and of course in this case a which is coefficient of n squared is equal to 1 and b which is the coefficient of n is equal to negative 2 and c which is the constant is equal to 4 so substituting the values, we will have that our n will be equal to minus 
and then of course minus 2 plus or minus root negative 2 raised to the power 2 minus 4 times a is 1 times c is equal to 4 and all divided by 2 times 1 so if we simplify this minus times minus is plus plus or minus root minus 2 power 2 is equal to 4 minus 4 times 1 times 4 is 16 and all divided by 2 okay so eventually what we have is 2 square 2 plus or minus root 4 minus 16 is minus 12 all divided by 2 and then we can go ahead to simplify this minus 12 right here so we can do that as 12 times minus 1 okay all of these will be divided by 2 okay so continuing here what we have is 2 plus or minus we can actually split these as root 12 multiplied by root negative 1 and all divided by 12 and all divided by 2 and this will be equal to 2 plus or minus we can actually simplify this root 12 here as root 4 times 3 multiply by root negative 1 here we know it to be a complex value i okay so this is still divided by 2 so this will be equal to 2 plus or minus so we can take the square root of 4 here which is equal to 2 and then root 3 okay so we have to root 3 multiply by this i divided by 2 so since 2 is common here we can actually factor 2 out okay bring it out here so we have 1 plus minus root 3 i and all divided by 2 so this 2 can actually cancel this and then n eventually becomes 1 plus or minus root 3 i so here you can see that we've got another two values for x and then of course when we add it to the first one we've got we've got three values of n so we are going to do next is actually to proceed to case two which is here and that is where we're going to be getting the remaining three values of n which will give us the complete six values of n which will satisfy the problem we are solving so if we consider case two okay where n power 3 minus 2 power 3 is equal to 0 so we just need to remember this algebraic expansion a power 3 minus b power 3 you can actually expand this as a minus b and then multiply by a squared plus a b and of course plus b squared and in this case our a is equal to n and our b is equal to 2 so if we apply this rule this stuff is actually going to change to n minus 2 multiply by n squared plus 2n and of course plus 2 squared which is equal to 4 okay and of course it's equal to zero so just like we did earlier on we have two cases right here so it is either n minus 2 is equal to zero or n squared plus 2n plus 4 is equal to zero so if n minus 2 is equal to zero n is actually going to be equal to 2 and this will form the fourth value of n which will satisfy the problem we are solving okay so if we consider this case right here 
what we just need to do is apply the uh, quadratic formula to also find out the values or the values of n so where n will be equal to minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac and all divided by 2 times a okay and of course in this case our a which is a coefficient of n squared is equal to 1 b which is a coefficient of n is equal to 2 and c which is a constant is equal to 4 so if, if we substitute all of these values in n here our n will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus root 2 power 2 minus 4 times 1 and of course times 4 and all divided by 2 times 1 and of course when we evaluate it right here so this is actually going to be 4 minus 4 times 4 times 1 which is equal to 16 and then 2 times here is a, 2 times 1 here is equal to 2 okay so what we're going to be having is that n so let me just put it right there before so n will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus root 4 and then minus 4 times 4 so let me just write this as 16 all divided by 2 okay so continuing from here n will be equal to 2 negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 16 here is minus 12 and all divided by 2 and of course this will be equal to negative 2 plus or minus we have actually simplified this in the previous solvings and then we got this to be equal to 2 okay root 3 i you can actually go through the previous steps and then see how we simplify this to be equal to 2 root 3 i okay so this will be divided by 2 and then from here you can see that we've got common term right here so we can factor out 2 and when we do that we have minus 1 plus or minus root 3 i and all divided by 2 so that these two can actually cancel these two and then n becomes minus 1 plus or minus root 3 i okay so this is actually going to be the fifth and the sixth values of n which will satisfy the problem we are solving so if you follow through the solutions to these interesting equations are n is equal to plus or minus 2 and then n is equal to uh, 1 plus or minus root 3 i and then n is equal to 1 negative 1 plus or minus root 3 i okay of course you can see that this is a resolution and then this two is a complex solution and of course that is how you can actually solve for this kind of problem and uh, let me know if you've understood the solution in the comment section let me have your thought right there and of course if you've enjoyed the video do not forget to like the video share it with your friends and then subscribe to our channel so that you stay updated each time we release new content okay so thank you so much for watching and i'm going to see you guys in my next video Bye.